welcome back to this new Unreal Engine 4 tutorial where I will teach you how to make an interactable door using blueprints. So we'll just get straight on to it. So first off we're going to want to create a base class. So I'm going to go into my first person folder and add a blueprints folder. And we're going to want to create an act class called interactable because we're probably going to have more than one interactable item in this game. Probably going to want a door or chest of drawers and cupboards and everything else you want to open or interact with. So in here we're going to create a function called oninteract compile it and save it and that's all we need to do with that. Then we want to create a child blueprint class from this, which we're going to call door. Now in door, we can now override that function. Add to the override, so you hit this override button in functions, and you'll see on interact is now available. So we'll add a new function called interact, which event on interact will call. And on interact, we're going to want some new variables in here. So we want a global variable of B is open. And we'll leave that as false. And on the interact, we're now going to want something to turn, so we have to actually put the door in the viewport. So I want to add two components, I want to add a static mesh, and then I'm going to rename that door. Frame, and I'm going to make that the root. Now, you might not want the door frame in it, but I'm going to have it there. And then attached to that, I can have my door. And attached to my door, I'm going to add a box collision. So for door frame, I'm going to search for the door frame. I'm using the starter content in this. So that's where I'm getting all the door frame and door assets from. So we want door. And I can move this into place, take the box, which we want at minus 45, and then we can extend it. So we can extend it in the X, just so it's just a bit wider than the door. We'll say 20. In the Y, we'll say 50, and then in the Z, we'll see what 100 does. And then we can move it down one. And I think 100 is actually the right size, yeah. So we have this box collision around the door now. And this is what we're going to interact with using a line choice. So first off, I want to set my door frame collision to no collision. Due to the width of the player, it won't be able to fit through it. So I'm just going to leave it off for now. The door will just set to block all. And the collision here, we're going to say custom collision. We only want to, we want to ignore everything except we want to block visibility and camera traces. Compile and save. And now on interact, we want to check if B is open. Okay, so we want to check if the door is open. If it is open, then we want to close it. So we want to get the door, we want to add local rotation of minus 110 in the Z axis, uh, minus 100, sorry. And if I show you, if we rotate in the Z axis, this is the Z. 
and if we go 90 we might still be blocking the player from getting through the door frame so if we go 100 it makes it look really open as doors can generally open pretty far and it also just makes sure our player can get through it so we just want to make sure we're rotating the right way so that's minus 100 and we want to set B is open to true otherwise I'll just copy and paste that and if it's false we set we add a hundred local rotation and set B is open to true I've done this wrong way sorry so if it's on false if it's not open add minus 100 rotation and now it is open otherwise add 100 rotation and set it to isn't open find that door bring it in rotate it so it's the right way that's facing us and if we go interact with it now obviously nothing will happen you can see we can go right through it uh, I think that's because the door itself here doesn't actually have any collision. So we can obviously add a quick bit of collision to this door, we could add a box simplified collision. However, you'll see that because of the handles here, it kind of overlaps a bit, so we don't want that. We'll just remove what I did there. So you'd have to fix that using your own assets, but for now we'll just we can just pretend it has collision by when it's closed we can set door frame to have collision enabled we can have block all if we type block all in that profile name when it's closed or that when it's open we can just put this in the middle here copy paste this we can say no collision and on by default we want to set it to block all so now when we walk into it it's blocked uh, but when we open it it should unblock so now we need to do the opening so we'll go to our player blueprint which I'm just gonna click this guy in open blueprint editor now I am using the C++ version of the first person blueprint template here so when I open my full blueprint there's nothing here if you are using blueprints there'll be stuff here but we don't need to interact with any of that so it's fine what we want to do is on the E key so I'm right clicking pressing E and I'm gonna look for the E key here is when that's released we want to call the line trace function and in the line trace what we do is line trace by channel using our camera here as the start position so we get the world position of our first person camera plug that into the start and then from the first person camera we need to get a forward vector so this gets the direction the camera is facing it's pointing in and we are just going off the ends here when we're doing that we need to multiply this by a float and we'll do this by 200 so that's 200 unreal units which means it's 2 meters and we add this vector here by this new vector and that's our end and if we draw the debug type of duration we should get a line trace so I just need to connect this up to the line trace we get a line trace of two meters long. Now it does seem pretty long, but that's because when you're walking up to a door, you don't want to have to have your player walk all the way up, then press E to enter it. You know, they want to do it from like here. Okay, and you can see where that square is, is where it's interacting with it. So I 
again we need to make sure our collision preset on here is block these and we need to set collision enabled to collision enabled here okay so that just happened because we were changing the other ones up above and I set it to no collision accidentally before setting it to custom um, so in line trace you want to do that then if there's a return value which means if it hits something then we want to break this hit into its separate results what we do is we get the hit actor and we do cast to interactable on true so we made that interactable class so we can have anything chest of drawers doors um, just interactable items such as batteries, pickups, you know, that kind of thing. So we don't have to check for each of those individually, we just cast to interactable. And now on interactable, because we have on interact, we can call that. And because our door is base class interactable, it will say that it has our in on interact function. But that on interact function has been overridden, so what we tell it to do in here, in the door class, it will do instead of what it's told to do in the base door class. So we'll compile, hit save, and now when we go to the door and press E, the door opens, we can go through, and we can also shut the door. And we can do that from a fair distance, so we can walk in and out as needed. So we can walk up to the door, open, walk, close it, you know. So it works really well, and that is our door. And it's also a quick introduction to base class and inheritance, which is a really good thing to learn for game programming. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did, a dislike if you didn't. If your opinions are otherwise, if you have any suggestions, advice, or just something you want to say, then leave it down in the comments down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And you can follow me on Twitter, Twitch, whatever. The links are in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you. Goodbye.